So, this is Fort Joy. What a crumbling disaster. Lucian. A fine fellow he was, I admit. Showed me conjuring tricks at dinner parties when I was but a boy. Did you see them, sir? Bishop Alexander and the Hammer herself, they, they, they were so close, almost within arm's reach. Irma? Irma? Farah, she ain't on, coming back. Man. I can't wait all day. Pipe down, Farah. It's time to accept reality. A kin, is it? A traitor cannot be murdered. A traitor can only receive their due. Doubly so for a lizard traitor. It's a pity she couldn't die twice. Easy enough to say in times of peace, but look around. We're standing on the edge of the end. The void woken a coming, scale shedder. And it's only the divine order that can protect us. I'm not mad, darling. I'm not mad. Sweetheart? Farah. She ain't coming back. A fella can't hear himself think with all this racket. Day and night she hollers after that child. Mummy's I right told here. him at noon exactly. Where are you? Didn't I? He hasn't changed a bit. Always late. Irma? Where are you, darling? You hear that, Farah? You got to cut that out. What's happened to you? He hasn't changed Irma. Oh. Known her all my life. Her little girl Irma, too. Farah was a straight shooting woman in those days, but now she's madder and a cuckoo in twice as loud. What else do you call hollering after a ghost? That child of hers she's shouting after has been dead and buried a month over. Killed by a void woken back in our home village. Never even stepped foot in Fort Joy. And there ain't no amount of hollering that'll bring her back. 
Please, I'm sorry, but you must leave. My baby's terrified of lizards. She may be hiding from you even now. Irma! Irma, darling, are you here? Please, sweetheart, where are you? Where is he? No, no. I'm sorry, but she's terribly frightened of lizards. She's just a child. Doesn't know better just yet. Please, good day. Irma, where are you, dear? Mummy's worried sick about you. Irma, Mummy's right here. Where are you? Oh, I don't think She's I gone, Farah. That's your fifth blue just of this round. I told him that no what of it? Yeah, what of it? Ah, crab it in your gobblers, the both of you! You don't like the game, Topsy, you can fold. No, no! Just cos the uh -huh. pair of you are filthy cheating Where liars don't mean I can't beat ya! She's gone, Father. Oh, respect God! God. Right, hand, Topsy, over us all. right hand, my wicker! I Let told her I'd known right exactly. Didn't I? <laughs> That's it, Vara. She ain't coming back. Did you see them, sir? Bishop Alexandra and the Hammer herself, they, they, they were so close, almost akin, is it? A traitor cannot be murdered. The Divine Order's all that's to leave it or don't. The Divine Order doesn't need our loyalty. They'll save us in spite of us. She's gone, Farah. God! A fella can't hear himself think with all this racket. Day and night she hollers after that child. Irma, 
Mummy's right here. Where are you? I told him at noon exactly. Didn't I? You hear that, Farah? You got to cut that out. What's happened to you? Aye, she needs help, but none that I can give. Matters a cooker, that one, and twice as loud. Distraught, don't even begin to cover it. She's hollering after that ch and there ain't no amount of hollering that... Please, I'm sorry, but you must leave. My baby's terrified of lizards. She may be hiding from you even now. Irma! Irma, darling, are you here? Please, sweetheart, where are you? No, please. She's terrified of... Come on, old man. I can't wait all I'm day. not mad, darling. I'm not mad. Sweetheart? Farah. She ain't coming back. Oh, I don't think I ain't watching. That ship been through yesterday's road. Um, uh, Mummy's right here. Where are you? She's gone, Farah. Gone! Don't like the game, Topsy, you can fold. No, no! Just because the pair of you are filthy cheating lions don't mean I can't beat ya! Where is he? Right hand, my twister! Fella's got more right hands than an octopus! I'm not mad, darling, I'm not mad. Sweetheart? That's it. I call court. Hey, up. She's gone, Farah. Gone! Send us your children, your supplicants. Where? You there, She's Lizard? Gone. I'm looking for an inmate. A smallish man, thick spectacles, prone to somewhat eccentric chatter. He wears a large bronze pendant with a dragon stamped I'm not into mad, it. Darling. I'm not mad. Yeah. What are ah. She ain't coming back. She don't like the game, so you can fold. I'm not mad, darling. I'm not Have you seen him? None of your business, inmate. Find me if you hear of a me go. Otherwise, don't waste my time. Greetings, child. Frightful far for a moment, yeah? Visited your ancient empire myself a long time ago. The divine's light sure shines on your kind.
Aye, I know that all too well. I feel his absence within my very blood. I pray for his safe return. Game tops so you can fold. No, no, just because the pair of you are filthy cheating liars don't mean I can't beat you. A little respect for Griff's right hand, Topsy Girl. Right hand, my weaker. Fella's got more right hands than an octopus. Looky, looky here, mates. A fresh face. We love fresh faces, don't we? <laughs> oh, yes, we do. Why don't you join us in a round of cards? First hands on the house. No problem, Freshy. In that case, enjoy your stay. But I'll be needing to collect your interment fee first, of course. I'm sure the Reds told you. No one gets along without paying the interment fee. So, let's make this easy. Empty your pockets. Now, why would I go and do a thing like that, Freshy? I don't owe you nothing. Honour! <laughs> We're a little short on that around this place, bub. But I gotta hand it to you, you sure don't give up. Go on, then. Whatever pennies you've got in your pocket ain't worth my breath. But don't you go telling Griff I was soft on you. Another inmate, but you wouldn't guess it. Runs this place like he's Dallas herself. Shouldn't be too hard to find him in the kitchen. You may even have work for a strong back like yours. Keep walking, Freshy. Huh? What are you doing here? Didn't Griff already take one of them ears of yours? Our Father, who presided over us all. That's so? Oh, hey, you're right. Reckon the lizard I'm thinking of was got rid of last week. Probably for the best. Griff cut him real good. What is it, weirdo? Your coin's gathering in a cave to the east. Head there if you want to keep your face in one piece.
We gotta stay alive, ain't we? I aim to survive as long as I can in this hellhole. Our father, who presided. The woman is scrabbling at her throat, as though she can hardly breathe. As she catches sight of you, recognition flashes in her terrified eyes. She drops her hands from her throat and starts hyperventilating. Ben! Ben Mest! Ivan! Ben Mest! You killed them! You killed them! He killed them all! Murderer! Keep him away from me! Help! Somebody! Keep... Stay back. Stay back. Keep that monster badness away from me. You! You there! You, you've just arrived, isn't that right? Are you... Are you quite alone? The man scowls at you. I thought I might see if you wanted to get out of this place. Though maybe I ought to ask someone who isn't a prissy fop. I have a plan. A good one. But I need a partner. <laughs> you would be too if you'd been here as long as I have. In fact, you should be nervous if you're here at all. I know what they have planned for us, and it ain't pretty. I've been here a long time. Longer than anyone else. People get taken sometimes. Some folks say they get cured. I don't know if I believe it, and I don't want to wait and find out. I have a way out of here. It won't be easy, and I need a partner. Just one. Are you interested? Believe whatever you want. This may be your only chance at leaving this place. Take it or don't. Oh, noble. But after the magisters take you all, your nobility will have been for nothing.
Good luck with your friends, though. Enjoy your last days in good company, won't you? Boring. Oh, ten bottles of mead, oh. A thousand bottles of dust. Fifty bottles of tears, oh. Make the hinges rust. Say, I don't know any ancient empire ditties. Got nothing spicy enough to keep my mind off this place for a few bars. Blimey. Must be real fun parties you throw back home. Slave folk like myself, eh? Go kiss a rat's behind, why don't you? Collared like a dog. A very tall, very scaly dog. I'd pity you, but Sceptre the Ineffable has no patience for weakness. Skin! Ha! A shell is my bulwark against this world. A carapace steel with sauce. Scepter could crush lizards by the dozen. I, Scepter, could crush dragons. No! This power is my birthright, same as yours, but one of us has grown to astounding heights and the other has sunk into depths too humiliating to describe. Pity. But of course, they'll happily dump your maggot-ridden corpse into the sea when they're through with you. No! Sorcerers dance while magistrates pull the strings. Fools all! Their tomfoolery won't save them from the destruction the void shall wreak upon them. Ha! Of course, precious. But which is worse, the cure of the disease? See, he likes it big and strong. And combs it out all dilly eye day. Come on, you stubborn hunk of garbage. The dwarf's fingers clamp around a splintered chunk of wood nailed to the skeleton of an old ship. His whole body strains with the effort of wrenching the plank free, to no avail. Ah! Eh? Oh, that. That uh, won't be my first or last roll on a lost boat. Reckon I might have had a harder time of it without your help, though. Bravery on the high seas is rewarded tenfold in the hall, you know. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got business to attend to. The dwarf spits into each of his calloused palms and rubs them together, before placing them both back on the plank and pulling. Uh, uh, ah, bleeding nail must be... Charmed or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on then. Why don't you give it a shot? You grab the plank and pull. The rusted nail pops loose, and the plank promptly crumbles to pieces in your hand. Oh, look at that. Nice of you to finish the job after I... Uh, loosened her up. He winks and flips a gold coin toward you. It makes a long, high arc, glinting in the sun, and lands squarely in your hand. For your trouble. No, but I'd hoped to build something with it that would be worth a thousand. Yeah, it were a fool's errand thinking I could make something out of this heap, but I couldn't help myself from trying. 
He sucks a finger and holds it up to the wind, testing the breeze. Winds like these, she would have capsized before she reached the break. Well, on to plan B. He gives you a wry look, as though deciding whether to trust you. Aye, was planning to build me a raft and paddle off. I've got business north of here, in a town called Driftwood. Far be it from me to miss an appointment. Why don't we make a deal then? You help me get out of this place, and I'll do the same for you. That's the spirit. He lifts an invisible cap and bows with the grace of a courtier. Pleased to make your acquaintance. The name's... Well, the name's dead and buried. What matters is what they call me. Beast. May have been cast out, but you can bet your last heel a breed she wishes she hadn't of. I've taken my revenge a thousandfold on that tyrant's fleet. I'll tell you when you're older. Anyhow, we're a team now, so the me is not half as important as the us. Let's get down to brass tacks. Fighting, I mean. I've been up and down the realm so often it'd make your cabbage spin, and I picked up a few tricks along the way. Truth be told, I've grown fond of crushing and casting. A battle mage, if you like. But there's not so important as team dynamics. So what'll it be? Then it's settled. Capital! Aye. But it seems you've no room for old beast in your clan now. You come find me when a spot opens up, and take it from me. You'll want to find a place for me at your side. Tired of the view in here yet? Ifan shrugs off his backpack and reaches into its depths. After rummaging around, he holds out a tattered page to you, upon which you can see a broken wax seal in the shape of a wolf's paw. Have a read of my contract and find out. Tired of the view in here yet? I am too, I must say. Good to know someone's got your back when the going's tough. He freezes and shoots you a wary glance, looking for all the world like a wild animal caught in the lantern light of a racing carriage. Well, why not? Go ahead. Ifan begins counting on his fingers and muttering to himself. This goes on for quite some time. 43, give or take. Indeed. That's pretty much how I feel about it, too. What else do you want to know? Not much, I'll tell you that. Why? What do you think of them? Ha! Huh. Sharp eyes, lad. But they can't keep the likes of us locked up too long, I'll wager. Come on, let's poke around and see if we can sniff out some blind spots in their surveillance. Tired of the view in here yet? Well, I've got a contract to complete. After that, getting the hell out of Fort Misery seems the best option. I figure we track down my inside man, and then we take it from there. Are you certain you want to dismiss your companion? His eyebrows shoot up, and a wry smile crosses his lips. Can't say I'm not sorry to see you go, but you'll be all right. You seem to have the hang of this place. Good luck out there. Might be we'll see each other further down the road. Let's team up, you and me. What do you say? How do? Right now, though? Well, that's that sort.
the boy who can consume their joy, their misery. I know that's dumb.
coming! I found you, didn't I? Red, they said. Red, then dead. Them that pay the bills, of course. I'll be a rich man when you're six feet under. Time's up, your highness. Let's dance. time.
yield to none. Damn nuisance these assassins are. It's their frightful manners I mind the most, really. Say it again. 